hi guys it's Mahlingi. welcome back to my channel i will be teaching you guys how to make this chicken in sauce this is a recipe you didn't know that you needed it's very easy to make so definitely add it to your to-do list the parts of the chicken i like to use are thighs as well as drumsticks you can use any part of the chicken i just think these two are made for each other we don't know where the chicken has been but we know where it's going in your mouth so clean it up remove the excess fat trim it nicely make it look cute because we are also about presentation after trimming the chicken we're going to wash it i don't like to remove the skin or the jacket because it looks very pretty when you fry it ladies and gentlemen these are our spices we have the chicken spice parsley cayenne pepper whichever brand that you want to use I'm going to start off with aromat. If you have salt, you can use that as well. While we're here, I'd like to give you guys a cooking tip from Mathingi's Kitchen. When you buy ingredients, spices, sauces, whatever, soup, make sure that the brand is a good brand. Tip number two, always taste your spices and sauces. If it has less salt, it doesn't taste good before you put it in your meal it's not gonna taste good after you've cooked so just make sure you know your way around the kitchen with the ingredients that you're using in your food mix everything together my favorite herb is parsley you can use either one that you want in a pan add some cooking oil so we can fry the chicken it must be nicely seasoned guys we don't want chicken that looks like it's been through so much um, and then we fry it golden golden brown don't burn anything it must look proper and nice and presentable so as you can see if there's blood you're not done you're not done stay in the kitchen continue to do the work of the lord uh, after this we're going to prepare a sauce that is going to boil the chicken starting off the show we have the wellington's sweet chili add that up as much as you like but not too much and then lapis braai sauce any sauce is fine acceptable add as much as you want as well but just enough for your pieces on top of this we're going to add some water at least a cup nyan. this also depends on how many pieces you'll be making and then you stir after this we're going to add herbs do not add soup this is not that type of chicken make sure that you add enough water though because as you can see the chicken is not well done we still need to process it after this add your chicken in make sure you boil everything nicely at least 30 minutes depending on the stove that you're using this one ends at nine so i put it at seven if it ends at six put it at four let it cook nicely and let's just call it a day because we're done 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 and whew, when i tell you that this is one of the greatest recipes that i know i'm telling you after this it's gonna be like mm, mm. and there's nothing much to eat me that's what i love jonga wana it's like so good it tastes very nice and i just hope you guys will stay tuned for more recipes from Atlingi, I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.